Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. A video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and I'm in an absolutely amazing mood today for some reason. I am just very happy, and hopefully you are as well. And if you're not happy, uh, hopefully you will be by the end of the video. And speaking of happy chappies, yay! Look who it is! It's my happy bear, my big brown bear friend, Mr. Lima Toad. <laughs> Welcome back to my lovely world. Did you have a good holiday? Did you have lots of fun? What did you get up to? Did you dance? Yes? How did you dance? <laughs> Badly. Anyway, thanks for my breakfast. Thank you for my cake. This is what I missed. There was a cake that you left in the attic for me and I did enjoy it, but um, it was a little bit stale by the time I got round to eating it. And then I kind of ate the entire thing in the first day and went like the rest of the week hungry. So that wasn't good, but it's good to have you back in my world and uh, here ready to help me out. And uh, today in this video, I'm going to be continuing building uh, what it was that I was building in my last video, which is Stampy's Overwear, my uh, very badly named clove shop and yeah hopefully we're going to get that done by the end of the video uh, but before we do that I'm going to give someone a shout out in my love garden and today I am adding Matthew Marvell and uh, that's because he built an amazing Stampy's Hot Buns and I actually uh, came up with a mini little competition in a video a while ago uh, saying send me pictures of your hot buns and uh, the best one will be added to my love garden and uh, this one was really awesome. Uh, it's got a massive big sign and a big uh, model of me and Lee there and so I thought that Matthew uh, you deserve to be added to my love garden because of your amazing hot buns and I got so many suggestions so many um, entries and pictures of hot buns and uh, people showing me video tours of their hot buns and I was actually blown away by how many people now have Stampy's hot buns in their world and I absolutely loved it and I got so many good entries and it wasn't easy picking a winner but Matthew uh, yours did kind of stand out from the crowd and anyway which dog is going to stand out from the wolf pack uh, today I'm going to take who do you want me to take do you want me to take Flippy is that you want me to take or Benji which one uh, Flippy. Okay, I'm going to take Flippy with me, and Flippy uh, is my big, strong, powerful dog. You can see that Flippy's a bit of a brute over there, and so he can be uh, protecting us from all of the googlies throughout this video. Uh, not that we should be getting in too much danger. It should be uh, a little bit of a peaceful, kind of uh, calmer video. Well, it's about as calm as videos get inside of Stampy's lovely world, uh, because we're not going adventuring, we're not battling, we're not mining. We're going to be building a fashion shop. <laughs> Woohoo! And so, yeah, this is this is what we did so far. This is what we did in the last video. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same as it was. Uh, the only difference is that uh, I changed the floor. The floor was brick and yeah, I kind of liked it. But I thought they normally have sort of uh, wooden panelling on the floor rather than brick. So I have uh, changed it here down to the, um, the wooden panel flooring. And I do kind of prefer it. I do like it like this. And so what I need to do now is uh, add in some displays where the windows are going to be. And just uh, make up all of my little outfits. And I've kind of come up with a few ideas for some different outfits. And um, they're a little bit silly and uh, I'm going to show them off to you um, a little bit later on in the video. So basically we need to put our windows here. But uh, before we build the windows, uh, I'm just going to build the display uh, just because that way it will be a little bit easier. So uh, I, need, I need some wooden planks, but I need just um, normal oak wood. Is there any like normal oak wood trees anywhere around here? Have you got any like oak wood on you, squid? Oh, there we go. Why did I call you squid? Sorry, I meant Lee. <laughs> Sorry, I got squid on the brain and that's certainly something that you don't want on your brain. Yeah, I'm just going to put some... Uh, wood down on the floor down here just so um, I got a nice base you know because I'm gonna have glass there uh, you don't want to um, have to see it like through the floor right so that's where the windows are gonna be and then here I'm gonna have the displays and I think I'm gonna use the uh, the spruce wood uh, planks for the displays and uh, they're just gonna be kind of like mannequins and uh, the way I'm gonna try and do it is just do kind of like a pole which might seem a bit weird uh, but then um, I'm gonna do item frames uh, for like the different pieces of clothing so on the bottom I'm gonna do like some boots and then uh, higher up I'm gonna do like some leggings and stuff so I've actually got a whole bunch of item frames on me I should hopefully have enough <laughs> and now I'm gonna go and show you all of my different outfits and the first one uh, is mainly going to be a leather piece. It's mainly going to be made out of leather. So if I just get a, uh, a crafting table down here. I do have a whole bunch of leather. I've been breeding a lot of cows before the video to get ready. And oh look, there's a button down there. Is that like a like a security button? Right, I guess I put the crafting table on this side. <laughs> right, so I'm going to make a whole load of leather. Uh, one of every different type. And uh, this outfit is going to be called... Wait for it. 
wait for it. Let me just go. And, oh, I'm just putting all the clothes on rather than putting them up here. This outfit is going to be called <laughs> the pumpkin munchkin. And basically what it is, is all leather. And then we're going to have a pumpkin on the head. So uh, if you want to be really stylish this summer, uh, make sure you go out dressed as a punch, a pumpkin munchkin. And I think that uh, Lee's just putting the sign down there for that one. And then on this side, I'm going to do the next outfit. And I need to remember to... um. I uh, put the windows in. So I'm going to have four displays in total. Look, I've kind of got myself stuck. I'm kind of here just <laughs> bouncing, jerking. How have I managed to do that? How have I managed to get myself stuck inside a block? Right, let me get rid of that. And let, let me try that again, shall we? There we go. Right, and this outfit is going to be called Rainbow Robes. And this is basically going to be one of uh, every different type of item. So one gold, one diamond, uh, one leather, and one um, iron. I think that's all of them. Or have I said one of them twice? I don't know. I, th I think that's about right. So um, if we make some... Uh, what should we go for? Should we go for a diamond helmet? I don't want to use up too much diamonds. I don't have too many. So a diamond helmet. I go for a iron chest plate. Uh, some, uh, I go for, oh, I've run out of leather, actually. I, I, need, I need to get some more leather. I show I can do leather boots and then gold leggings. Here we go. These can be rainbow robes. And oh, I just keep putting all the clothes on. I keep trying to put the clothes into my quick select, but it automatically just goes on you. And uh, I want to be careful not to put my prized iron boots anywhere. So if I go for uh, a diamond up on the top, and then we go for the, the gold leggings. And then we got the, the iron chest plate. And the, the leather boots. Jolly good. Very fashionable. That's, that is a stylish look. Check out those rainbow robes. And what we're going to do is just do the other outfits on the uh, the same uh, mannequins. But just on the other side. Uh, so these are kind of like the uh, the displays that you'll see. These are, these are the top notch, best, most fanciest clothes that we got in the shop. This is what all of the passerbys are going to see when they're, when they're window shopping around my lovely world. So uh, if I do a whole load more item frames. I know I've run out of um, item frames. I have got oh, I don't think I've got enough leather. I think I'm going to have to very quickly uh, run over to my farm and uh, go and gather some more leather, which is always sad. It's always sad having to get rid of your livestock, but that's that's pretty much all they're there for, you know? You don't have much use for your animals other than killing them, to be honest, to get food. Like, sheep you can get wool from, like, chickens you can get eggs, you know, and cows can get leather and that, but ultimately uh, you're there just to get food out of them. I think pigs are the most useless, apart from the fact that you can ride around on them with saddles, but apart from that, pigs are literally only there to be pork chops, and what I should do is um, uh, probably breed a few more and uh, that, that way I'm not going to run out. So if I grab a bunch of wheat here, uh, I can go and breed some more cows and then uh, go get some more leather because I actually believe I might need uh, some leather for some of my future outfits as well. So let's go and uh, breed a bunch of these cows and then once they're done doing what they need to do, uh, we can go and kill some. And I've actually got looting of my sword, so uh, there's a good chance I'm going to get a whole load of leather. Yeah, look at all that. Look how much leather I'm getting from that and how much beef and stuff. And I feel really mean doing this, right? I leave a few. I don't want the, uh, the kids to be left by themselves so I'm gonna leave uh, one more ad out there there we go I've got 11 leather from that now uh, so I can just go back and I'm getting pretty hungry actually and um, let's go let's go let's go have some bread let's have a, a vegetarian option I don't want to be standing here eating beef in front of the cows <laughs> right so let's go have something to eat and then uh, we go and do uh, the final two outfits and then uh, I'm just gonna put in a whole bunch of chests and just fill them full of clothes uh, just all of the like the iron and gold and stuff that I got left I'm just going to fill all the chests full of that. So when all of my uh, customers arrive, they got uh, plenty of stock to pick from and stuff. <laughs> and uh, what I actually really want to do, I don't know if I'm going to have time in this video, but I want to build uh, like a catwalk. Uh, so that way we can have a fashion show. And I didn't mean to do a pun when I said that I'm building a catwalk. A, a stampy catwalk. That's what I'm going to build. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, hopefully, if not in this video, at least in the next video, uh, we can have sort of like a like a catwalk like fashion show. And uh, I think we're going to decide who's going to be the um, the employee of the month here by uh, who does the best show on the catwalk. <laughs> Should be something to look forward to at least. So I'm going to put all of those item frames along there. And I believe that um, I need just one more to put on there. Right, so time for the next outfit though. Though. This is going to be the king's costume. Uh, so you can probably guess uh, what the helmet's going to be. And I say helmet, I mean crown. It's going to have a crown and then all iron. Kind of as if that's like armour. Uh, so if I put the crown on there, 
And uh, this is a uh, an outfit that Finball would be proud of. He's my my king friend. I, I do know royalty. <laughs> I'm the king's cat, right? So if I put all of that down there, there we go. That's the that's the king's costume. If you got like a fancy dinner, or you're going to like a posh place, and uh, you want to dress up in something's fancy, uh, that's the the outfit for you. And finally, this is my favourite costume, and I think there's a good chance this is going to be your favourite costume as well because uh, this is this is the costume that I would most like to uh, to wear. And this one's called. Stampy style and what you need for stampy style is you need some iron boots and That's it. There you go. Now you can look like stampy style. Oh, I've got a leather helmet that I'm randomly wearing for some reason There you go Lee. You can have the uh, the spare leather helmet here and uh, one more final piece uh, Just to make stampy style complete if I just go there and put up a nice little rose There we go. That is that is stampy style. So uh, here's here's my full range. We got uh, the pump the pumpkin munchkin, or the pug pumpkin munching, uh, as uh, Lee's wrote down there. Uh, we got rainbow robes, all the multicolored ones. Uh, we got the king's costume, and then we got stampy style. <laughs> so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly put down the windows, and um, I think I'm going to do them as blocks, otherwise it might look a bit weird having like uh, it kind of half been inside and outside. So yeah, that looks quite cool. Here we can see our uh, beautiful displays and then um, I think it might be a good idea for us to very quickly head over to bed now Lee and uh, then in the morning we can go and finish off the shop and then yeah then then we should have pretty much finished Stampy's um, overwear and it's looking quite good to be honest I'm, I'm kind of happy with how it is. Uh, actually do I have any wool on me? Can I just make a couple beds down here? Uh, no, I don't think I've got any wall on me. So, should we very quickly go and head to bed now, Lee? And uh, then in the morning, we can go and just sort of finish off this whole place. I might actually uh, put down a few chests, just while Lee's there writing that sign. If I do a, um, if I do a double chest there, and then a double chest there, and then if I do a double chest there, and a double chest there, and then I can go and make a whole load more clothes, and I can fill them up. And yeah, I think it is very almost done. I just want to find a better place for this crafting table. I might get rid of that button there. And uh, just put that down there. And I might now just go and make a whole load of more clothes. So if I make um, some more helmets. I make some more gold clothes. Some more iron clothes. And this might seem like a waste. But like what else am I going to do with it? You know like what else am I going to do with all my iron and gold? I might as well make it now. So I'm just going to go and shove uh, a whole load of these clothes in here. This one can all be full of gold. Uh, this one here can be all full of iron stuff. Uh, this could be where all the rich people go if you want a diamond helmet. And uh, what else? I've got a nice bit of leather helmet down there. So uh, there we go. The pumpkin munchkin. Let, let's go to bed then, Lee. And then in the morning, we can start work... Um, building the uh, the catwalk ready for the fashion show and I need to advertise I want to get I want to get some customers in there I need to to find some way to attract it it's kind of sad that I'm in a video with just me and Lee right now I kind of I don't know I, I want to open up shop and I want to start I want to start trading you know I want to see if my my fashion label is going to take on a, I might be setting a trend here you might walk into town tomorrow and you're going to see a whole load of people walking down the street stampy style <laughs> to be honest I think if you actually did walk down the street stampy style i.e only wearing boots and a flower you'd probably get arrested and be called a hippie to be honest but it doesn't matter in lovely world in minecraft it doesn't matter you can wear whatever you want and uh, i kind of like just being a puss in boots <laughs> right so yeah let, let's get a good night's sleep and then we can uh, carry on work in the morning so i think the first thing i might do is i go and try and find uh, some way of uh, advertising so uh, i'm gonna find a good tree or something i'm gonna start uh, putting up some posters around my world and uh, yeah, then that way, hopefully, we can uh, attract a few more people in. So if I go and make a, uh, a few signs, I'm just going to uh, spread these out all over the place. So uh, all of the people, when they're just sort of passing through my town, they might uh, catch a glimpse of this sign and, uh, yeah, decide to come and uh, check out my, my, my clothing range. <laughs> right, so if I just go and put down, um, I put down a sign here. Uh, and uh, what should I say to advertise it? Uh, uh, let's do it simple and to the point. Come to my shop there we go and then, then once they see that everyone's going to be rushing straight in and i might just go and uh, uh, do the same on a tree over here just just in case someone for whatever reason missed that sign uh, they'll be able to see another one over here and oh look there's a few people joining my game i was just complaining about there not being many people in my game then i'll have more people join right let's just put down another sign here and just write come to 
my shop. You know, they always try and be fancy with their adverts and try and come up with clever jingles and stuff. All you need is straight to the point, come to my shop, and that will get people curious enough. And look, look how many people have joined the game. Oh, they're all going to my shop. Oh, it's because of my advertising, because I put down my signs. Everyone's deciding to go. Oh, well, we're not open yet. We're not open yet. Wait, everyone, everyone, wait. Right, we need to go in. Oh, look, they're all coming in already. Lee Action Stations, Lee Action Stations. I can't believe how many customers we got already. Right, I'm going to get behind the counter. Um, hello, hello, sir. Welcome to my shop. Anything take your interest? Have you checked out the rainbow robes? I think you'll look lovely in the rainbow robes. Get those old dirty clothes off. Oh, he's going. He wants to be a pumpkin munchkin. Oh, I need to. I need to stock up some pumpkins. We've only got seven pumpkins left. Oh, he's going to go change them on. I, I better not peek through the door. Right, everybody, come in. The shop's open now. Everybody, we're, we're open for business. Hello, Amy. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Livy. Hello, Miss Pink Mermaid. And hello, Jake on the box. Welcome to the shop. Um, come on, Lee. Stay behind the counter. Quick, we need to serve people. Um, you need you need to pay for that squid. You need to you need to pay for that pumpkin over there. You can't. No, you can't. You can't walk out with the pumpkin. Get him, Lee. Go after him. Quick, we've got a shoplifter already. Um, everyone, make sure you check out everything on the range. Uh, I think you'll look lovely in the uh, in the rainbow robes there, Amy. Come come try on the rainbow robes. Like a piece of clothing in every different colour. Seriously, it'll look great with your hair. I think your twin would like it as well. Anyone want to go stampy style? Livy, did you want to go stampy style? Would you look lovely with a lovely jubbly love love petals? If you come over here, uh, we've got the, the iron boots down there and the uh, the famous lovely jubbly love love petals. And Squid, come on. Come on, pay for your pumpkin. Come on, cough up the cash. Come on now. Come on, come on. Come on. Just, pumpkins don't grow on trees, you know. They grow on the ground. <laughs> he, he tried. Go and get him again, Lee. He's made another run for it. He pretended to pay, then he just ran out again. I can't believe how good business is. All I did was put down a couple sides, and now everyone's always... <laughs> everyone's coming dressing up in here. Oh, what's that? That's a new outfit. She's gone for the butter outfit. It suits her. It looks absolutely lovely. And Amy, you look delightful there in your rainbow robes. Oh, there we go. Finally, a paying customer. Cha-ching. I'm rolling in the money. <laughs> oh, I need to start franchising. I need to start opening up some new branches. And oh, what's wrong with this? Oh, has always got a tear in it. Are you returning the clothes already? Were they faulty? Or would you like me to bag them up for you there, madam? <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, I need to remove the security tags from them, you see. Oh, there we go. Oh, and she's got a row. She decided to go stampy style. Okay, there, there you go. Here's all your clothes for you. And there you go. All bagged up nicely for you there. Well, I say bagged up. I meant thrown on the floor. There we go. We finally managed to get the money off Squid. Oh, I think that's Squid. Oh, that's not even Squid, is it? <laughs> Squid can just disguise as someone else. I think the um the pumpkin munchkin is one of the, uh, the most popular ones. And what have you gone there for, Jake? Gone for some gold boots. A very good choice. Very flattering for a moose of your stature. <laughs> oh, you look absolutely delightful, all of you. Thank you very much for all of your business, everyone. Um, I think we're closed for the day. I'm tired. Everyone go home, please. I can't believe how busy it managed to be then. <laughs> right, thank you everyone for visiting. <laughs> oh dear, that was amazing. All I did was have to put down two signs saying come to my shop and look at all of the business I got. And you did absolutely amazingly. I think you've got to be employee of the month. And nope, Squid, get that right. You are banned. You are banned from... Stop running. Stop. Come back here, Squid. 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 Stop. Squid. Squid. Squid, stop running. Come and get him, Lee. Get him. Squid, come here. Seriously, stop it. Stop running. Squid, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to... Squid. Squid, I just want to talk. That's all right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not angry, Squid. I'm just disappointed. Squid. Squid. Oh, what's going? What happened then? How did? How did you get him, Lee? From that far away? I was only gonna tell him off. I was only gonna make him sit in the corner for a bit. Right. Let me. Go. Oh, is he gonna be upset now? Let me. Let me go talk to him. Squid. Knock. Knock. Can I come in? How you doing there, little fella? How you holding up? You all right there, mate? Um, sorry about that. It's just shoplifting's not good. Yeah, you should never steal, okay? You should never steal, all right? I, I know it wasn't right for Lee to kill you like that, but, I mean, it, it was your fault. You did start it. <laughs> oh, man, that was absolutely hilarious. And there's everyone just here, like, running crazy. Right, everyone to stamp these hot buns. Let's celebrate the... The grand opening by eating a whole load of cake. Everyone to stamp his hot buns now. Let's, let's just have a great big cake party. <laughs> oh, I think I need to end every video of a great big cake party. Look, you can look in the chest. All of the cake is happy to see you. Everyone, free cake. Cake is on the house. <laughs> and I don't mean literally I'll put the cake on the roof. That would be unhygienic. But I mean the cake is all free. Everyone enjoy. Everyone tuck in. <laughs> oh, dude, this has been an absolutely crazy and hilarious video. And I started the video in a good mood. And I've ended it in a mood 
mood, which is somehow even better. I've got a great big grin on my face. Are you okay, Squid? It's all right. Look, the cake is free. You can have as much of that as you want. You don't need to steal it. You don't have to go stuffing my hot buns into your pockets. Not that uh, Squids have many pockets. He always tries to steal cookies and he puts them under his little, his little hat there. <laughs> anyway, we have just about run out of time in this video. In my next video, uh, I am going to do what I said and I am going to try and build some sort of catwalk and uh, we're going to have a mini little fashion show. So yeah, there's something for us to look forward to. Uh, thank you everybody for joining into the game and uh, uh, being such good customers for my shop. <laughs> and yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!